right, it is 11.22, and the business meeting of Westercon 66 will be in order. The first and likely only item of business at today's meeting is the announcement of site selection results for uh, Westercon 68 and a short presentation from the winning bidder. Uh, the chair recognizes Glenn Glazer, the head of site selection. The complete count of site selection took less than 15 minutes. Yay! The following uh, um, write-ins got exactly one vote. Both, Gnome of the Above, TriPoint, Cotati, California, <coughs> Juno, Alaska, Hawaii, Alaska, Kevin and Andy's Backyard, <laughs> 456 Restaurant. Um, the following write-in got two, Reno. <laughs> None of the above got five. There were 113 total ballots cast. Uh, there were five no preference, so there was a total of 108 ballots cast with preference. Uh, 55 was needed to elect. San Diego got 92 votes in the first round and therefore is um, selected. Thank you, Mr. Glazer. Without objection, the tellers are thanked for their work and are instructed to destroy the ballots. Hearing no objection, thank you, Glenn, and the ballots are order destroyed. Mr. Oaks, Ron Oaks is recognized to give a presentation about Westercon 68, for which the chairman now has to get out of the way of the uh, presentation equipment. Oh. All right. As of now, I guess the San Diego in 2015 bid has ended, and we will be WesterCon 68, again July 2nd through 5th, 2015. Start to announce our author guest of honor. Uh, we are pleased to announce that Spider Robinson has agreed to be our author guest of honor. People should know, probably know, he was first published in 1973 with the guy with the eyes in analog. Uh, received, was one of two recipients in 1974 of the Campbell Award. Has published a total of 10 collections of novels in his Callahan's universe, uh, plus uh, Star Dance with his late wife, uh, Variable Star, which was completing an outline of Robert A. Heinlein's. Numerous other novels and shorter works has a total of three Hugos and one Nebula. Our artist guest of honor, we are pleased to announce that John Picaccio is our artist guest of honor. Winner of the 2005 World Fantasy Award as artist. Winner of last year's Hugo Best Professional Artist. Has been very consistently nominated for both awards. And his most recent work, or his recent works include the most recent Delray editions of the Elric series and the 2012 Song of Ice and Fire calendar. We are pleased to announce that our fan guest of honor is Shannon McGuire. Uh, we are recognizing her for her work as a prolific musician, uh, including the Hugo-nominated album Wicked Girls, as part of the SF Squee cast, which was a Hugo award-winning and nominated fan cast and her contributions to fanzines, fanish collections, including Chick Stick Time Lord, which received the Hugo Award. And as most of you probably know, in her spare time, she is also the winner of the 2010 John W. Campbell Award, uh, author of a very many novels and shorter works, both under her own name and as Mira Grant, and received a, this year has received a record number of Hugo Award nominations. She is nominated five times in four categories, three or four categories, and that is including, you know, collected work, or, you know, collections that she has published in. We would also are very pleased to announce that as a special guest, we have invited William F. Nolan, who was the co-chair of the 1952 uh, Southwestern Con, the fifth Western Con in San Diego. Uh, he was also ended up as one of the guests of honor. 
Uh, as a writer, he is involved with co-authoring Logan's Run, plus wrote two sequels, um, wrote the Sam Space series, and has been voted in 2002 a living legend in dark fantasy, has two Edgar Awards, is the honorary title of author emeritus with SWIFA, and has a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Horror Writers Association. And some highlights of our convention, we have big events planned for all three nights, opening ceremonies and a Meet the Guest Ice Cream Social on Thursday. Friday night, we will have a Guest of Honor concert featuring two of our Guests of Honor, uh, Spider and Shannon. And on Saturday night, we will have the traditional masquerade. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We also have daylight concerts planned in the line courtyard, which is just outside of the main convention space. And we are planning to do at least a partial recreation of the place from Callahan's Key and Callahan's Con as part of our con suite. Including a live gazebo. Yes. The gazebo got him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, could I have a live <clears throat> At this time, it would be in order to entertain a small number of questions for if there are any. any. Yes? Look, Bill Taylor, uh, Masquerade Night, Saturday night, that's the 4th of July. You're going to have Masquerade in the middle of fireworks in San Diego? The, I'm going to repeat the questions. Uh, the question was, the Masquerade uh, will be on Saturday night, which will be the 4th of July that year. The question that you're holding the Masquerade during the middle of fireworks in San Diego. We will look at the schedule for the for the Big Bay Fireworks Spectacular, which is connect will be connected to our site by trolley to get to the bay. Uh, so we will make sure that we schedule the masquerade either sufficiently early or sufficiently late for people who wish to also go to the fireworks. Now yes, uh, I'm going to ask the, back, the, the, the what I call the mechanical questions. What is uh, your membership rates, and uh, can you give a precease of conversions? And then after you've done that, talk about where people can get their memberships for the rest of this convention. Okay, I, embarrassing as this is, I don't actually recall the membership rates, so I will need to ask a copy of PR0 be handed to me. <laughs> yes. Okay, our attending rate at this point, the base rate is $45. That is good this weekend. Obviously, our pre-supporters, uh, will, will re who did not vote will receive at least their $10 credit, as will their friends will receive their $25. If you voted, you will, it will be, but did not pre-support, it is a $30 conversion. $15 if you voted and pre-supported, and as expected, our friends who've also voted will get their memberships taken care of once we reconcile the two lists. And, and we will be open shortly after the business meeting i certainly hope by at least one o'clock where site selection was held to the right of registration for this convention any more questions Ms. Barsky. How, how long are those rates good for and they are are they available online how long are the rates good for and will are they available will they be available online and do you and i guess that leads to do you have a website that we can point people at right now okay the Rates are the five, the rates will go up by five dollars after the close of this weekend. Uh, they will be available online uh, within the month. We have a website which should be going up as soon as either Adam and I or I can get online and rename a couple of files. It, it will be westercon68.org, and we will uh, similarly once that site is live and the westercon.org site administrators are aware are. Are, are aware that it's online and we can get to a computer ourselves, we'll put it up, the link from westercon.org. Any? Break out, will you break open the PR0 so we can have copies? And yes, we will break out the PR0s for copies. Okay, at this point the meeting will stand at ease for the distribution of the PR0s. The meeting will return to order. I uh, do want to observe that uh, a typographical error on the membership form about when the initial rates are guaranteed through has been, we've been reassured that that is meant to be good through the current calendar year. That ends site selection. The chair and secretary have been given no notice of any, uh, oh, I should start back, back up a moment here. Uh, there are no items, there are no commi active committees to report. There uh, are no bylaws amendments awaiting ratification. The chair has been advised of no items of new business. Is there anyone who wishes to surprise us? Thank you, no. <laughs> In that case, 
the chair would like to thank Suki Systems and Lisa Hayes for providing us with uh, technical gear to overcome some of the acoustics of this surprisingly uh, ano anochic, is that the word? No, ano anacho anachoic small room. Uh, and, uh, and also the recording equipment. Is there any objection to the meeting adjourning at this time? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Ms. Marvin? I simply wish to speak to the older fans and thank you for not considering the Stardust Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I asked about the... The, 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 the older... Old, uh, uh, Ms. Moffat, on, on behalf of uh, old, uh, older fans, uh, says uh, th thanks San Diego for not considering the Stardust Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That being uh, at um, 11.39 a.m., the business meeting of Westercon 66 is adjourned. See you today.